The high-level panel on migration was established in response to a resolution of the UNECA, the African Union Commission, African Conference of Ministers of Finance and Economic Planning in 2016. The panel comprises 15 eminent persons, including representatives of government, the private sector, academia, and civil society, and from all continents with an interest in advocating for safe, orderly, and regular migration in Africa for Africa's development. The HLPM, as we we'll call, call it, hopes to energize African states into faster ratification of protocols and agreements on free movement of people in order to achieve its objectives. It is expected that the work of the high level panel will help focus attention on the important issues of international migration in Africa, not just with regard to remittances, but also on issues related to expertise and technical know-how, business investment, and trade by the diaspora. But first, there's a need to demystify migration on the continent, to correct the dominant narrative regarding migration from Africa. Dangerous maritime journeys such as those across the Mediterranean represent only a minority of migration. <coughs> Unfortunately, they distract disproportionately media attention because of the risky nature and tragic outcomes with loss of lives. A human tragedy is unfolding in the Mediterranean. But if we take a close look at a long-term trend, we see that the majority of African migrants within the continent in 2015 originated from countries within the same subregion. For West Africa alone, the proportion migrating within the same subregion was nearly 70%. Further, it is not only the poor who migrate. Most Africans living outside the continent are not from the poorest section of their societies of origin. Countries with relatively high levels of economic and human development, such as Morocco, Algeria, <coughs> Tunisia, South Africa, Ghana, and Senegal tend to have comparatively higher immigration rates outside the continent than poorer countries. There are some exceptions, such as large overseas migrant groups from Ethiopia and Somalia, but usually migrants tend to be young, mostly 15 to 40 years, male, and with some education beyond primary school. Africa is the youngest continent in the world with half the population under the age of 18 years. Europe, on the other hand, is aging. So there will be natural flow of population as young educated people from Africa would reach Europe looking for suitable opportunities. This is inevitable. The key issue is, can this migration be made safe, regular, and orderly? This is what the Global Compact on Migration, the negotiations on which are reaching a conclusion, aims to achieve. African member states have spoken with one voice during the various rounds of deliberation on the Global Compact. And the high-level panel has supported the technical inputs of the African member states in these deliberations. 
with the negotiations of a global compact reaching conclusion, the need now is to support the implementation of the key elements of the global compact in African member states. Migration and human mobility are strongly linked with the movement of goods and services. In addition to the free movement of capital, trade and development strategies require the free movement of people across national boundaries to be able to explore opportunities and benefits from each other. Also, free movement of labor allows for the operational utilization of human capital as skills go to regions, industries, and countries where they command the highest value. Regional integration is a key pathway to development and labor mobility as it usually accompanies other forms of economic engagement. The African Continental Free Trade Area, signed recently by 44 member states, and the African Union Protocol on Free Movement of Persons are key for regional integration and labor mobility on the continent. <coughs> Lastly, the deliberation of the high-level panel have underscored the need for robust, reliable, and regular data to strengthen the evidence base to support effective policy formulation and implementation and develop a positive narrative on migration. The HLPM is committed to mobilizing a broad range of stakeholders, including heads of state, in support of policies to make migration safe, orderly, and regular, and based on the core principles that migration should be out of choice rather than because of need or force. That's what we've been doing in the last two days. The high-level panel working toward achieving its objectives, the final act of which will be the submission of a report to the African Union heads of, the heads of state and authority at one of his summit meetings early next year. Thank you.